For more free African history resources, please go directly to our website or click the links below. The city of Moro. The Nubian Empire was established in 4800 BC by the Nubians who were Africans located in northeastern Africa in the area which is today known as Sudan. Later, the capital cities of the Nubian Empire would be Kerma, Napata, and Moro. The last capital of the Nubian Empire was Moro and was formally established in 300 BC and flourished until 300 AD. The city of Moro was located on the east bank of the Nile River near modern-day Shendi in Sudan, in eastern Africa. Moro is also the location of the majority of the pyramids, constructed by the Nubians and includes burials for over 40 kings and queens. The Nubians originally began the construction of their pyramids from 747 BC until around 300 AD. Nestled along the banks of the mighty Nile River, the city of Moro stands as a testament to the rich history and cultural heritage of Nubia. This enchanting city, with its bustling streets and diverse population, offers a captivating journey through time and a glimpse into a world that seamlessly blends tradition and modernity. Moreau's history dates back millennia, as it was once a significant trading hub and a centre of learning in ancient Nubia. The remnants of its storied past can be seen in the archaeological wonders scattered throughout the city. The Great Obelisk of Moro, a towering stone monument erected to honour the gods, stands proudly at the heart of the city's central square. Its intricate carvings depict scenes of everyday life in ancient Nubia, providing a window into the customs and traditions of the past. British researcher Archibald Sace, upon publishing his report after completing his excavation of Moro in the early 1900s, remarked the following. Moro, in fact, must have been the Birmingham of ancient Africa. The smoke of its iron smelting furnaces must have been continually going up to heaven, and the whole of northern Africa might have been supplied by it with implements of iron. The architecture of Moreau echoes its multifaceted identity. Ancient temples stand side by side with colonial era buildings, and modern skyscrapers pierce the skyline. The Temple of Hathor, a well-preserved ancient sanctuary, draws history enthusiasts and spiritual seekers alike. Its grand columns and intricate carvings pay homage to the deities of ancient times. Conversely, the Moreau Museum of Contemporary Art showcases the city's embrace of innovation, housing a collection of modern artworks that reflect Nubia's evolving artistic landscape. Moreau, strategically positioned on the Nile, was a bustling hub of trade and commerce. Merchants from distant lands converged here, bringing with them exotic spices, precious gemstones, silks, and a myriad of other goods. The bustling marketplace, an intricate maze of stalls and bustling traders, echoed with languages from lands as far as Arabia, Egypt and beyond. The aroma of frankincense and myrrh lingered in the air, creating an intoxicating ambience that drew in visitors from far and wide. Central to Moreau's vibrancy was the Great Bazaar, a sprawling market that extended along the river front. Stalls laden with colourful textiles, pottery and intricately carved ivory artefacts adorned the bustling streets. Local artisans and craftsmen showcased their talents, producing exquisite works of art that blended the traditional Nubian aesthetic with influences from neighbouring civilizations. The Great Bazaar was not just a place of commerce, it was a melting pot of cultures, where ideas, stories and knowledge were exchanged along with goods. The city's skyline was dominated by architectural wonders that stood as testaments to the grandeur of Nubian civilization. The Temple of Amun-Ra, an awe-inspiring structure adorned with massive columns and intricate hieroglyphics, soared above the cityscape. Pilgrims and scholars alike flocked to this sacred sanctuary to pay homage to the gods, seek knowledge and participate in elaborate religious ceremonies. The temple complex was a microcosm of the cosmos, each element meticulously designed to reflect the Nubians' profound spiritual beliefs. The Nile, the lifeblood of ancient Nubia, was the main thoroughfare for goods and people. Elegant sailboats and sturdy barges gracefully navigated its waters, carrying cargo and passengers from Moro to distant cities and regions. The bustling river front was alive with activity, as sailors haggled over prices, goods were loaded and unloaded, and tales of distant lands were exchanged around crackling campfires. 
The rhythmic sounds of oars striking the water and the gentle lapping of waves against the boats created a symphony that echoed the pulse of life in Moreau. The ruling elite of Moreau resided in opulent palaces that radiated luxury and power. The Palace of Pharaoh's Light, nestled on a hill overlooking the city, was a sprawling complex adorned with gold, precious stones and vibrant frescoes. Here, kings and queens held court, making decisions that shaped the destiny of the realm. Lavish feasts, resplendent ceremonies and philosophical discussions took place within the palace walls, defining the social fabric of the city. Moreau was not only a centre of trade, but also a crucible of art, literature and intellectual pursuits. Scholars and scribes gathered in libraries and academies, diligently recording knowledge from across the ancient world. The House of Wisdom, a grand repository of scrolls and manuscripts, attracted thinkers who delved into philosophy, mathematics, astronomy and medicine. The city's cultural scene was a tapestry of creativity, fostering an environment where innovation thrived. The people of Moreau celebrated life through a rich tapestry of festivals and rituals. The Festival of the Nile, a grand event that marked the annual flooding of the river, was a time of exuberance and gratitude. Elaborate processions, music, dance and offerings to the gods filled the streets with colour and energy. The Festival of Stars, held under the canopy of the desert night sky, brought astronomers, astrologers and curious observers together to marvel at the celestial wonders above. As time marched forward, Moreau's prominence waned and its once thriving streets and grand edifices fell into disrepair. Yet the echoes of its grandeur still resonate in the modern world. Archaeological excavations have unveiled fragments of the city's storied past, providing glimpses into the lives of its inhabitants. The spirit of Moreau lives on in the traditions, stories and customs passed down through generations, reminding us of the city's enduring legacy. In conclusion, the ancient city of Moreau, with its bustling markets, grand temples and vibrant culture, remains a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of Nubian civilization. As we traverse the winding streets and explore the monumental structures of this bygone era, we are transported to a time of flourishing trade, intellectual exploration and communal celebrations. The echoes of Moreau's past continue to inspire, offering us a glimpse into a world where the Nile's waters intertwined with the dreams and aspirations of a remarkable civilization.